draw something up like this here and these here would all fold in and then this would fold on top so this would be my cube those are the six sides and then this would be a break line this would be a break line this this and this and the way I would do those break lines on eighth inch material or thinner I would just have the plasma cutter run the line on 3 16ths I would want at least like a rectangle there about a hundred thousands uh, side to side with on quarter inch maybe a hundred twenty thousand so that it bends nice what I would do on these corners here so that they fold nice I would put a little um, circle in there let's say um, I would go 90 thousands on the radius And then the way how I would do this on these four corners here, go in and cut, cut this out like this. You can't tomorrow. No, it's too late, Violet. You already had dessert. So when the fire comes here, it runs that in inside circle and then goes the other way. When you fold this up, it gives enough relief. Well, you can really fold up the cube real nice. Do this on all four corners. So on this 5x5, five five, what I typically would do here is this one here. I would break it in 10 pieces. That gives you about half inch per increment. So let me do that real quick. Break. And we're going to use these here. Select those. Break in 10 pieces. And then I would delete the part right next to it here. So that way, this is just a single line on thin material. Now I'm going to go ahead and join all these single lines to one solid line again. See now it's one solid line again. And then let's say I'm going to prepare this for quarter inch material thickness. I'm going to parallel the line at 60 thousandths. Which looks like this. And I'm going to do this on all the lines, of course. Delete the middle section here. Then I'm going to connect the dots on the end here. Then I would create these little pockets. So this way, on quarter inch, when you fold it up, it folds real nice. Otherwise, it tries to fight each other and fold on top of each other. Now I've done this to all five brake lines. And um, the piece is pretty much ready to uh, put a tool path on and cut. Quarter inch material or thicker, even 3 16 it'll be okay. On eighth inch, those gaps, you may have to fill them a little bit with the wire. It's not horrible, but eighth inch and less, typically I just make one line, one open line. And I don't do like a rectangular shape like this. Uh -huh.